back, everybody. When it comes to cleaning, there is always a desire to do it faster and better. So today, our family is sharing some of their favorite cleaning hacks you'll wish you knew sooner. <laughs> so Debbie is hanging out with Kim. Hey, guys. And Larissa with Orly. We're going to get you guys in just a bit. But first up, it's you, Paige. It's me. You're okay. Right. <laughs> All right. This is one of the things that I love to do. Like, if you are scrubbing, let's say, our kitchen counters. Mm -hmm. So look here. So in the grout, you can see we kind of, it's kind of a little bit dirty. If you scrub and scrub and scrub, you can only scrub as much as you have um, little arm muscles. Strength. Muscles, yes. <laughs> and you can see mine are just kind of going down. So I have enlisted the, the help of a power tool. This is a, a, what I normally use, a drill. But look at this. I added to the top of it. A little scrub brush. Isn't that amazing? This is such a page way to clean. I love it. Oh my gosh. It, <laughs> it makes cleaning so easy. So then you just put on a little soap. Any soap is fine. This might squirt back. Okay. So just, I don't want to get you all dirty. Um, but then you just go over it. Look at this. Look at that. Amazing. It's kind of like power washing your countertop. Yeah. Like you would do outside of your house. And you know, and it's so easy because all I did was hold a drill. Amazing. This is doing the actual work. And if you can see, our grout came clean. Look right at that. Off. I love this page. Like I said, this is oh. such a page cleaning tip. I love <laughs> it. It is. <laughs> All right, Orly has got our next cleaning hack, and she's hanging out in the animal nook with Larissa. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Yes, I do. So, Larissa, you came to me with a problem that I, I know all too well from personal experience. <laughs> do yes. share. It happens to be that my dogs love being on the couch, and yeah. as many times as I've tried to train them not to, mm -hmm. I then give in because they just look so cute. But they take over the couch. There's a little piggly oh. rolling around. And so, you know, I have a light-colored fabric couch like you do. So at the end of the day, it gets kind of dirty looking yeah. and I don't want to use anything that is going to be bad for the fabric or for them. A hundred percent. No, I had the exact same experience. I have a big fluffy golden retriever. She has the same uh, cushion that she loves and it gets an overall dirtiness. But you can see there, we actually had a couple of paw prints from one of the wonderful animals that you had here on the show. And so this is something that I learned uh, that works really, really well and is really uh, gentle on your fabric. So this is just 100% alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I'm going to add to it a little bit of water, about like a 60 to 40 ratio, 60 being the alcohol because you just don't want pure alcohol you want to dilute it just a little bit with some water so you're going to fill it up then you put the top back on and what I like to do is spritz about six inches away from the fabric spritz evenly all over the fabric anywhere that it's dirty and again like for me it's the whole cushion anywhere that it's dirty and with a towel that's kind of like um like rough a little bit. Okay. Something that's rough that you can really get in there, rub back and forth, back and forth over the whole thing with as much, it's a great arm workout. Mm -hmm. I promise you when you lift up the towel, it is brown. Ooh. It's absolutely crazy. The cushion will look different because it will be wet. So it'll look different, but as soon as it evaporates and it dries, there's not any residue, there's no ring, and the stain Good. is gone. Good, because that, that's what scares me. Well, yeah. thank you. Well, I don't see anything there. It's perfectly got it. clean. Thank you, Orly. That's you genius. It. Now let's check in with Debbie that? and Kim. Thank you, ladies. Well, I don't know if you know this, but Kim keeps a very tidy home. I and she that. has She has a hack that keeps you clean and also makes you smell nice. That's right. <laughs> you know what, Debbie? Getting your baseboards along your house. I love, I have really white baseboards and then I have a different color paint on my walls. So I'd love to have really nice white crisp baseboards, okay. but I never could do it quite as white as I wanted. So it can be just as easy, ladies, as going to your laundry room and getting a little dryer sheet. These are scented. I love so this nice, right? So you can do it obviously by hand and go along the bottom here. But why do that when you can just put it on the end of your mop? What a great right idea. here, and then ready for this? Come Let's with see, Debbie. Kimmy. Watch. I'm just gonna go along here, and you know I really hope I get some extra. Oh my goodness! This. Look at that! Isn't this amazing? Look at me! I mean, Kim. I think I have a whole second hustle. You really do. It's always cleaning. good to have a side hustle. Isn't it? We need a little help cleaning the place up. We really. I, I understand that they do, so I might be here for a while. Debbie, it's very therapeutic. And then I you could really, do the floors while you're down I there. Could, Why not? I could, and then I could go along here. Debbie, don't mind me. I'm just going to finish up. And I feel like one dryer sheet could probably do the entire baseboard. Wouldn't that be great, Deb? I'm There's just a few go, places oh, over there. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. I missed that, Deb. I'm that so is glad you told me about Kim. back here. Do you know what else these work for? I do. It's also good. Stat Tell electricity me. in your hair. That's right. Isn't absolutely. That? True story. As a beauty expert, I wrote the book on it. On electricity. Look at That's us. We're right. clean she and we're frizz free. Electricity. <laughs> for full instructions, you all can head on over to HallmarkChannel.com and stick around. Up next, more with the family.